the stolen generation. Stolen generation. Stolen. 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 first met when I first met my mother when I first met my mother when I was 14 when I was just 14 She wasn't what they said she was. She wasn't. She wasn't. They made her sound like she was stupid. They made her sound stupid. Stupid. You know, they made her sound so bad. And when I saw her, she was so beautiful. Beautiful. My mum was beautiful. said Mum said My baby My baby My baby My baby My baby's been crying. My baby's been crying. My baby's been crying. She walked into the room and stood there. Mum walked in and she just stood there. And I walked into my... I walked into my mother, my mum. And this hot, hot rush, just from the tip of my toes up to my head, filled every part of my body. Every part of my body. That was my first feeling of love. And it could only have come from my mother. My mother. My mother. I 
I was so happy. I was so happy. I was so, so, so happy. That was the last time I got to see her. When my mum passed away, I went to a funeral, which is stupid, because I'm allowed to go and see her at a funeral. But I couldn't have that when she requested me. They wouldn't let me have her. They wouldn't let me have her. I walked into my mother. And she was so beautiful. She was so beautiful. My baby's been crying. I walked into my mother. My baby. My baby. I walked into my mother. Mum said, My baby's been crying. My baby's been crying. My baby's been crying. That was the last time I saw her. We hugged in this hot, hot rush. Just from the tip of my toes up to my head. Filled every part of my body. I first saw my mother when I was 14. They made her sound like she was stupid. And when I saw her, she was so beautiful. I got told my Aboriginality when I got whipped and they'd say, when I got whipped and they'd say, you abo, you abo, you nigger, you nigger, you abo, you nigger. That was the only time I got told my Aboriginality. It was the only time I got told my Aboriginality.
What happened to the mothers and the fathers of the stolen children? What happened to the sisters and brothers left behind? The grandparents? Cousins? Uncles? Aunts? What happened to the mothers? Few of the parents have survived to tell their own stories. Many of those who have feel such guilt and despair that they were unable to come forward. It was found that Aboriginal women were unwilling and unable to speak about the immense pain, grief and anguish that losing their children had caused them. That pain was so strong that no Aboriginal mother could be found who had healed enough to be able to speak and to share her experience before the commission of inquiry into the stolen generation. We see that they judge themselves. Harshly, harshly. Never forgiving themselves. For losing, losing. For losing the children. Losing their children. Children. Losing. 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 Children, the 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 children. The mothers were made to feel failures. Unworthy of loving and caring for their own children. We couldn't find even one mother who had healed enough to be able to speak. Not one. Not one single solitary mother. Not one. They blamed themselves. They blamed themselves for losing. 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 For losing the children. When I first met my mother, they made her sound like she was stupid. They made her sound so bad. And when I saw her, she was so beautiful. My baby's been crying, she said. And we hugged. And this hot, hot rush, just from the tip of my toes up to my head, from my toes to my head, this hot, hot rush filled, 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 filled every part of my body. That was my first feeling of love. And it could only have come from my mum. I was so happy. And that was the last time. That was the last time I got to see her. 